Hello viewers, welcome back again to our session, our CRE session. This is our 12th session for our CRE lessons. Your teacher is Roger Michira and as I told you, we are going to break our lessons in, into 6 minutes per lesson. We can't just have a continuous process, that is why we are having 6 minutes per lesson for easier uh, contextualization. Now, in today's class, again, we are still into the topic of unit of believers and symbolic expressions of unit of believers. We have looked at a number of them from the body of Christ, the church, or the assembly, the, the people of God, good, divine and branches. And is that what I told you to, 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 to memorize? I'll get back to that. Good. Now, today's class, we get to look at the bride. And who is a bride? Right? Who is a bride? Now a bride, remember, a bride is a bride is a woman who is about to get married, or who is newly uh, newly married. That's a bride. Who is about to be married? That's a bride. Now, no, no. How how do we relate the bride to the unit of, uh, of believers? And remember, the future spouse of the bride is is called the groom, from the word bridegroom, the groom. Now we are going to look at how does this relate to the unit of believers. Yes. Welcome to class and let us get to, to see how does that relate. Now, by the end of the lesson class, what do we expect? We, we are able to discuss the illustration of the bride in the unit of believers. Good. The bride. Let us get to Corinthians, the second Corinthians 11, chapter 11, verse 2. In the Old Testament, God calls Israel a bride. Now, how, how, how does really God call Israel an, uh, a, a lady who is, who is to be married, a woman who is to be married, or, or, or a newly uh, married woman? How, 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 does God, how, how can God refer Israel as a bride? We get to look at that. In the New Testament, Christians are referred to as a bride in the New Jerusalem. Now, meaning there is a wedding. There is, a, there, is a, there is a wedding that is awaiting. Right? There is a wedding awaiting. Now, God or Jesus Christ is the bridegroom. Now, are we going to be married to Christ? Are we going to be married to God? We get to see that. Now, we have been referred to as the bride. We, we are going to be married. And our future spouse is Jesus Christ. Or our future spouse is God. Right? Look at that. Now, that is the spouse, right, and the bride. That's the groom and the bride. Look at, look at that. Look at, look at how beautiful they are, right? Look at the attire, the wedding attire, right? And look at the bride. That's the bride, right? Ready to be married, very ready, right? But, 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 but again, we don't, we, we don't know when is that marriage going to take place, right? We don't know when that marriage is going to take place. That's why we have used a symbolic expression of the bride, unit of believers. Remember, when someone is going to be married, when someone is going to marry, right? They are just waiting, anticipating for that day, right? When is that day going to come, right? They are very patient, right? Pure in heart and in body, waiting to be married. Or waiting to marry. That is why the unit of believers we have used the symbolic expression of the bride and also the groom, the bridegroom, and we have said we are the bride, and God or Jesus is the bridegroom, meaning we are going to be married to Jesus or to God. Now, class, let us get that. Now, Christians are reminded that the life on earth is a temporary home. Just as the wife or just as the woman is always reminded, your home place where you have been born, that is just your temporary home. You are going to move out and get a spouse. Right? Same as to Christians, we are being reminded that life on earth, right? It is just a temporary home. We are going to a new home. We are going to a new heaven. We are going to be married to Christ. Right? Their home is in heaven, the holy city of God. Right? In Kiswahili, they always say, 
that mbingu mpya na inji mpya right that's just actually illustration of the holy the, 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 the new home the new heaven and the holy city now just as the bride is expected to be faithful to her husband so as christians are expected to be faithful to god remember the bride is always faithful waiting for that day right i told you you must be pure in heart and in body right so as christians we must be pure right we must be patient and faithful waiting for that day right now john who wrote the book of revelation sees a vision right of a new heaven and a new earth in which christian in which christians will be rewarded good remember the bride is going to be rewarded with a groom and the groom is going to be rewarded with the bride they will only be rewarded if they were all faithful a bride will be rewarded if the bride is faithful and that is why in the tradition of african society for you to be married for a woman to be married they must have to to, to certify that you are a virgin you are faithful chastity pure in body right so only those faithful only those pure christians are the ones that are going to be rewarded good you can see that christ will come to take his bride to eternity to live there forever right the relationship between christians and jesus is like marriage good look at that look at that the marriage between the bride and the groom they're going to live there forever it is a covenant it is a covenant so the bride is a covenant also is a relationship where the church who is the bride is expected to submit to we say the church we are the church the church is not a building the church is the christian is the christian heart we are going to submit to god jesus died on the church for the church a show of his of his god's love likewise christians should be committed to their relationship to god now uh, class we have looked at the symbolic expression of the bride now for our task can you get to who is referred to as the bride in the new testament as as always get to refer to our our reference book right on your screen and this was your favorite channel elim tv and your teacher was roger michira you are CRE teacher thank you so much for watching thank you so much for attending our class and keep in touch with elim tv for more lessons bye bye for now and let us meet in the next lesson